guys, it's Ariel Oliveira with Olive Tech. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how I made my choice board for my classes. So the choice board was implemented in order to allow students to choose their grade and visualize on the things that they might have missed out on during remote learning um, that they need to complete in order to pass or make up assignments. Um, so on my choice board, you'll see here, I created my first slide um, and I used stars. So all I did was I went to Google, I searched for an image of a star um, and I put the stars here, made them all the same size. Um, and I, inside those stars, I wrote what the grades were that they could earn based on um, the assignments that are there. So for me, I went into my grading system, which is Schedula, and I figured out what they would need to get based on how many assignments they did. And that's how I was able to come up with these numbers. Um, so what I would do first is after you make your first slide, you should definitely go ahead and make one general slide for like your first grade. So here I put all these different links. So you, before you can link any of these stars, you need to actually create the slide. So first thing I would do is pick your lowest grade that they can earn for passing. Um, for us, it happens to be a 70. So I created my custom Bitmoji. I went up to the Bitmoji extension and I typed in how to earn a 70. Now, if you want, for whatever reason, if it doesn't come up with one that you like, you can copy and paste it and do it again to see if there's one that you do like. So I'm just gonna use this one as an example for now. Um, you can click on it and copy the image and then you can paste it into your slide. Um, now, when you guys create these custom Bitmojis, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's these little yellow dots in the bottom left-hand side. I crop them out because I'm super anal and I don't wanna look at them. So. That's what you can do to get rid of them. Um, but this is how I would create my custom emoji. You guys don't have to do that if you don't like, you can create your own title, whatever you'd like. Um, after you create your title and your second slide and you factor in what they need to complete, you wanna make a slide. For each slide, I put every single assignment um, that we've done that they owe me. So this way they have it all right in front of them. So in order for them to earn a 70, they have to complete any of the two assignments. So what I did was I typed out all the assignments and I linked it. So what you guys can do is you could type the name of your assignments. I'm going to show you how you would do that. You would highlight the assignment and you can go up to either here where it says link or you can right click and hit link. Now, you, what you would need to do is you're gonna go into the Google Classroom that you're trying to link it to. So for me, I have multiple classes, so I have to make a choice board for each class and I'm gonna explain that in a second. But right now I'm trying to find my digital balance assignment and you wanna click on the instruction page. The student work page won't work because that's the teacher's view. So in order for the students to pull up the actual assignment on their end, you need to link it from the instruction page. So you copy that link and you're going to paste it and then hit apply. All right now you're going to do that with the rest of the assignments that you linked for that class. And then after to make this process easier, you're going to right click that slide and you're going to duplicate it. And you're going to create it as many times as you need to based on the grade. So for me, without that duplicate, I have one, two, three, four. I have four additional slides. So and I would duplicate that as many times as you need. So all that you have to do is change your title and how many assignments they need to complete. Um, so what I did was I duplicated and then I add how to earn a 78. Okay, you need to complete three assignments. How to earn an 85, complete any four. How to earn a 93, complete any five assignments. And then obviously 100 is completing all six. Now, on the stars or whatever you choose to put here, in order to link it, what I did was I put the image of the stars, I inserted a text box and typed in what they needed to earn. And I would hit edit. Now here I would link it to the slide. So they would need to go to slide four to see what they need to do to earn an 85. So you'll see where you can insert a link, slides in the presentation. I would go to slide four. 
okay? And that would bring me directly to slide four. So if I hit present and I click how to earn a 93, it'll take me to this slide because that's where I have it linked to. I would definitely try this out yourself first to make sure all your links work before assigning it. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention that I was talking about before is if you have multiple Google Classrooms that you need to assign the choice board for, you need to make multiple choice boards because the links are only assigned for that specific classroom. So for me, I have multiple technology classes, so this is just one choice board for one class. Um, so what you can do is after you make it, you could just do file, make a copy, an entire presentation. It'll copy the entire presentation and all you need to do is change the links of the assignment. So you would go here, you would hit edit, and here you would change the link to the other classroom that you want it to be linked to, okay? Um, but yeah, so this was a great way to just kind of present everything they needed to do and they could see and choose what they want their grade to be and what they wanted to work for based on what they've done throughout remote learning. Um, this way they have everything right in front of them. But all right, if you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And I hope you guys have a great day.